Oi, I'm Zoth. And I'm Yuji. I am Psy or Portable. Either way, uh, call me the one. Yep. And this is Zoth and Flynn's top five, or whatever the hell we decide to call it. Because still not 100% still on the title yet. Top five, <laughs> what? That, that's the show's name, at least currently. And this week it's all top five anime. Though you guys can My see top, that in the title. Our top five weebiness. Yep. And I just want to post this at least on my list. I am not counting stuff I read as a manga because the manga and anime can be different. This is true. I really wish I could actually uh, say uh, one manga because I mm. kind of enjoyed it. Oh, the, it is getting yeah. a anime an, a, adap- adaption actually next year, I yeah. believe. You gotta save that for the top five manga <clears throat> list. Yep, because that oh, is God. one of the other categories is top five manga. I haven't read that many manga. <laughs> you should. But, uh, Manga's better than the anime. Yeah, <gasps> a lot of the times, yes. <sighs> That's and true. This is technically our first episode, but our second time recording <clears throat> since the first episode got screwed no. up. <laughs> our first you ever. mentioned it. Yep. One day we're going <laughs> to blow up and we'll never hear the end of the lost episode. <laughs> but, uh, so, who wants to go first with the number five? I could if no one wants to. Go for it. Yep, go for it. Okay, so, yep, this is our top five anime uh, choices that we, that are our favorite of all yep. time, I assume. All right, cool. That's how, that's how I was going for. That's how I did mine. Uh, too. Now, my number five, we're starting from the bottom and going up to one, yep. to our most favorite. It was, a, it was just extremely hard to choose. Like, there are so <laughs> many that have made me feel like, like, that have given me feelings and stuff. And, and one, one of these, like, my, my number three, like, really, like, like, the first anime that made me actually cry. Because it, it was such a curveball and it hits you, like, uh, I'll get to that. Yep. <clears throat> my, number, my number five was, you, you, and you guys might have this as well, uh, Inuyasha. It didn't nope. make it on the my list, but it almost did. It is oh. a really good one. I, I've never watched it. Well, I, I grew up watching Inuyasha, and that was kind. Of, it was like my first ever anime, and that's why it's it's kind of there at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, with like how many? With how? If, if I were to watch, if I were to watch it fresh, I probably wouldn't watch it all the way through like I did. Uh, most, <laughs> most definitely not. I, I tried rewatching it a couple of years ago, and they spent like the full ten minutes of every episode going over uh, what happened previously. Nice. Oh, well, 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 that didn't really bother me. It was no, it, well, it's bothersome if you're watching multiple episodes <clears throat> in a row, though. That's true. When you're watching it slowly, one uh, one episode at a time, it's 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 kind of nice to be re- recapped, yep. especially when they're like weeks apart. Back when it used to be like that. The story is story kind of has two main characters, like the human Kagome in the modern time and Inuyasha, the half uh, demon dog thing. She starts off in in to- is it Tokyo? It's always yep, Tokyo. I believe Tokyo. Right? <laughs> it's always Tokyo. <laughs> yep, almost always. Uh, basically, she she uh, her family as well. She accidentally falls into it, grabbed by a demon, and pulled into the feudal era era. <laughs> So yeah, she gets sent back in time, pretty much. And there's demons and monsters and everything, and, which is kind of a cool idea in itself. Like, there used to be monsters and all that. You kind of wonder what happened to them, like, in the modern area, era. But anyway, he, she, she's there, and she finds Inuyasha pinned to a tree with an arrow. She frees Inuyasha. Uh, he's a gangster punk uh, asshole. But they become friends, and then they journey, and there's some, like, monsters, and there's some magic, and all this other stuff. It's, it's a... Hmm. It's like it's kind of a it, kind of a shonen or not a shonen. It's a kind of uh, an isekai, isn't it? Uh, of, people argue go, about she, it, but, but, but she can go back to the modern era. So yeah, that's why people I mean, argue if it is an isekai or not, is because she can go back to the modern era. An isekai is basically just like transported to another like another yeah. world, right? Yeah, I but, believe that's so, the exact so, definition. But most of them have them trapped in the other world. Is so people <clears> argue if any asa is one or not. There is a huge spoiler. I, I wish I could say, but there's a really awesome. There's, I mean, it's not awesome. I kind of hated it, but there is a spoiler. But that that's that's my number five, uh, just because it's mostly because the nostalgia. Mm-hmm. It's like the first real anime I watched say, it's over a good period of time. Definitely an early anime for me, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure I watched a lot of other stuff on Toonami and 
other channels beforehand. I can't remember what other channel was, but it had a lot of Japanese stuff on it growing up. Yeah. Do you want to go next to UG or? The old, the old Toonami. That's where I remember seeing the commercials for it at least. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'll go up next. My number five pick is... It might be over here just because I've been watching through it recently, mm-hmm. but it, it, it's super good. And that's going to be a good old Hamtaro. <laughs> I, I pause for the laughs. But no, yeah, it's it's a super adorable one, and I really like it. It's just it's just one of those ones, man. You watch it, and you got a smile on your face the whole time. I honestly and barely remember the show. Most anime, not to get into this debate right off the bat, but most anime I would watch subbed. But Hamtaro, sub is not as good as the dub. The dub has so many good like voice acting. Like the cast is like massive. There's like a hundred hamsters in there. And each one of them have like unique fun voices, but the, the, the sub doesn't quite quite have their variety in the voices as the dub does. There's some of the episodes, they, they got a lot of episodes su- uh, dubbed, but not all the episodes are dubbed, unfortunately. That's they get like episode like 200 and they, it switches over to the sub. Aww. It's also impossible to actually like find anywhere to watch, which is very unfortunate because that's ask. why a lot of people probably don't remember it. It's like not, it's not on anything <laughs> and they've not released like a way to watch it. There's no, like forever. There's no DVDs or anything like that. No, it's it's, it's very, you've got to really dig if you want to watch the Pamtaro. It's Amtaro time. Yeah, that theme I, song man, they get stuck I, in your head for days. I yeah, will. It, every now and then it gets stuck in my head. Actually, like even today, like Dan, you've not watched it in years. <laughs> I, yeah, <clears throat> it's just so catchy. Yeah, it is. Um, I wonder if some I, got, bond, I wonder who's the one that bought it over. I it's, thought it was, it was just Viz, but I might be wrong on that. It's, it's, that's, that's pretty good. I forgot all about it until like the song, the song yeah. is stuck on my head. Yeah, it's it's definitely very child. It's like a, a very childish yeah. anime. Like it's definitely meant for like Saturday morning cartoon. It would be like equivalent of a Saturday morning cartoon. But kind of like, like you just pick up whatever episode you want. There's not a whole lot of story arcs that you gotta follow. It's really easy just to put on and and watch. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I can see that. Yeah, adorable. Man. You'll, you'll you'll find that. A lot of the anime on my list, at least half of them, are on here because of how adorable they are. <laughs> Aww. It's a very... It's a, selling, it's a selling point for me. Yeah, I can see that. That I got to say about mm-hmm. Hamtalo. Yeah. Not a whole lot to say about it. <laughs> okay. These games are really good. Play its games. Yeah. Even, the right, one that was only, even the one that was only released in the UK. Yeah. My number five is Death Note. Yeah, I can see Ooh. that. Yeah. That's the one I thought might also be on your list, Yuji. Uh, I'm not going to confirm or deny it. Hmm. Pretty much like Yagami, a top student in his school and whatnot. Uh, he's looking out the window because he's bored with his life at one point, And he sees a notebook fall. You know, he picks up the notebook and it's him saying, Dude, wait a, name, a guy's name here and they die. So he ends up testing it out on a criminal who's holding, I believe, a preschool hostage. And... It kills him. So then he decides, hey, I'm just going to kill all criminals. And then it, him slowly descending in the madness from that. To sure, become that. the god of this world. Mm-hmm. That was always one of my it. favorite parts of that. It's just how mm-hmm. how bananas that show gets is, yeah. is great. You can see his, he slowly goes mad as it goes along. Yeah, that's just the power. It, the power it, hungriness of it. The power slowly corrupts him. And yep, that's the that's a good quote. Uh, power corrupts absolutely. Mm-hmm. Something like that. I yep. forget. It's something Who said like that? that? Absolute I... power corrupts absolutely, or something. Yeah, that is a quote. I can't. I don't know offhand who said it though. Albert Einstein. But uh. No, it's a joke. By the way, I don't know <laughs> if he actually said. That. I don't know if he said it. If I, I feel that, like that's it, a whole meme too. Of I feel like it like, could be quote. Theodore Roosevelt, but I could be wrong about that. Yeah, he's another one that gets. Uh, mm-hmm. attributed to quotes whether he said it or not. Mm-hmm. But, and then there's also one of the best characters in anime, Wiyuk, who's addicted to apples. Yeah. <laughs> he's a uh, he's one of my favorite too. And he's the uh, only saving grace to the live action Netflix movie. I um, <laughs> everything I, else about that movie was garbage. I, not that um, we're talking about live action movies, but I avoided that live action movie. But I oh, also apples. avoided the Japanese live action ones too. Yeah, that was just me of you just reminded me of another anime I should put on my uh, honorable mentions. Uh, honorable mentions. So, who do you think's got the best number five, guys? Uh, 
I I'm gonna say Zothgus the best number five just because I really <laughs> like. I really like I mean, that. That, 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 that is I've never pretty... watched Ediasha. Antara is really solid, but I don't think anybody else is going to vote Antara for me. Ham Hamtara with the death note. Oh, man. <laughs> but, 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 he, he he, but he does understand it, and he writes the names of all of his friends in it. I mean, as long as he's not uh, thinking about the faces. Uh, I mean, no, 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 he, does, he, no he does think about them, because he, he, he reminisce and like, oh, there's... Uh, uh, Sounds like you said a lot of fanfic, Sai. <laughs> I very well. You make a sad, sad Hamtaro sad X one. Death Note. Oh God, I would not watch that. Dude, like, or dude, read that. Dude, I was browsing. I remember boss. back when I was a teenager, I was browsing it once, uh, f the fanfic and say once, and I found uh, Kingdom Hearts <laughs> crossover with King of the Hill. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, you old me. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Although, although it would also be funny to have like Hamtara mixed with, uh, mm. with, uh, with, with King of the Hill, and and, and Hank's like, what I the mean, hell is that? I mean, other than the way they talk, it kind, of, uh, maybe not. Why is there a hamster in my? It's, it's closer than than Kingdom Hearts, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I'm getting the weed whacker. <laughs> the environment. I mean, they are just kind of doing the thing. It's getting up to whatever adventure of the day it is. So, so yeah, my vote's going Death Note. Small hamsters, big adventures. I personally would go Death Note too. That it is, man. Death Note is the definitive number five. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, that's a high-end, uh, popular, mainstream anime. There, like, we can't compete mm -hmm. if that's number five. Yeah. Which I would say the same thing about Inuyasha, but I just never seen it. It's it's yeah. long. If if you like long animes, like watching Inuyasha, Not particularly to it's be honest, it's also gotten more sequels <laughs> than uh, Death Note did. <laughs> Some someone say the second half of Death Note is the worst. I can see but if that. You, but if you but if you've never seen it, you sh you should go ahead and treat yourself to that because I won't spoil. I can see that, but I think the ending is worth it. It's uh, also another case of the manga being better than the anime. Just gonna go out there and say that. Wait, I've not actually finished the. Wait, did I fin? Oh wait, yeah, I did finish the Death Note manga. It's just I haven't watched the anime in a long time. Yeah, it is. If I'm not mistaken, it's been a while for me too. But if I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it. But the endings are different, slightly. Yeah, yeah they are slightly different. That I will say. I think, yeah, I think the, I think both the endings are good. I agree. I think the manga's ending is a bit better. So, Sai, what's uh, your number four? Number four. Slash portable. I'm also portable. Nah, man, you've got to pick one to stick with it. Portable side. I only I only keep mentioning side because I've been I've been Sai for so long on Zoth's channel. So we're not like, we're not here to plug confused. your YouTube. Pick one to stick to it. <clears throat> wow, that's <laughs> harsh. He's wow. You can go ahead and plug it. All right, I'm I'm leaving. Bye. That doesn't even exist yet. You're going to keep saying it, and somebody else is going to come through and take it. So now you got now you have to take it before. It's not no that that's that's not the full that's not the full name of it though. I'm only saying part of it. Well, you better take both because you're going to get some invitation accounts. Mm -hmm. If we ever blow up, man, oh I'm telling God. you. I I'll have my channel and everything like long before. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna buy it and hold it hostage. <laughs> so I'm gonna buy start it and hold it hostage. Yeah. <laughs> gonna buy it. So a yeah. uh, high place. <laughs> God, I didn't realize I was so successful already. Hey man, I've got faith in my boys. Uh, right, number four. My number four. Also, sort of a nostalgic uh, uh, anime from the past, mm -hmm. and, and uh, it, it is anime because it does have a a, 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 a sub, but it, can, it came from uh, Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came from Japan. I watched it a lot. Uh, I watched it a lot, like growing up as well. But uh, uh, it, it, it also came out with its whole new season, like a few, like a year or two ago. Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Another one I, I have not watched. I mean, it, it was all the rage, man. All the boys oh, I know. were like, were like, were like screaming their head off, and <laughs> and I feel like they still and, do, and, and going Super Saiyan, <laughs> and then pop popping a blood the vessel, and, do, and then going to the hospital. But yeah, Dragon Ball Z. It's 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 uh, God. It's hard to explain. Uh, like martial arts fighting. <laughs> to be honest, maybe, Taylor. maybe, maybe we should. But to be honest, I feel like if there's any anime on the planet that doesn't need to be explained, it's going to be Dragon Ball Z. I feel like everybody knows what that like, is. Yeah, you've at least it's, it's Weep Superman. It. Just, just go ahead and say it. it's Weep Superman. 
I th- I believe Goku versus Goku versus uh, Superman Death Battle had like Superman win twice. Or was yep. it was Goku twice. It was Superman twice. Yep. People were people were still angry about that Death Battle. I mean, people are angry no matter what in Death Battle. <laughs> they don't understand. Like Superman is like Superman. He's just he's super. Yeah, but speaking of super, that 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 was the <laughs> that was the, that's the name of the the, the new uh, season of of Dragon Ball that actually came out mm-hmm. somewhat recently. Dragon Ball Super continuing the story, even though the the creator wanted to stop at the Frieza Frieza saga. It was but uh, nope. The marketing was, was just saga. too strong. Uh, yeah, Cell Saga, and he wanted to give like, off the torch to Gohan and I yep. thought it was carry the on King the Saga. No. Oh. That is what he made after he wanted to quit, I believe. Yeah, but they wouldn't let him, like, all that money and, and marketing and all that stuff. Like, and they just continue on, so... Well, apparently they didn't uh, need him at a point because they made GT without him. Oh, God. That's all. Uh, we're, not getting into, we're not getting into GT. That was something else. Hey, it had one of the best transformations, though. A hairy Ape Man is pretty cool, I guess. Where was I? Uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. All the, uh, it's all about fighting. It used to be about just martial arts and techniques, but now it's just about uh, your power level and how strong your energy is, and uh, that, that, that's what makes you stronger. Honestly, the full spot of the yeah. series was just a comedy show slash manga. Yeah, there was some uh, there was some fighting in it. There was you know, there was even turn term arcs of fighting. Yeah, that is once it started going towards most also the fo- like the first half of the uh, woods no manga it had nothing to do with fighting. Like, but all the fighting was Goku one sodding stuff up until the King Piccolo arc. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, like Dragon Ball was my childhood, and, and even like uh, I even got to watch it now that I'm older and, and an adult, like which is really weird. Yeah, if is. you think about it, like some like it came back while I was older. I think was some never left. A, a and the manga manga is going on again. And yeah. uh, actually, recently the current arc of the the, the next uh, of the next arc is was recently completed in the manga. I already know the ending because I actually read. I was reading it. I've went up to just past uh, where the anime ends, but then they didn't do the movie in the. The movie after that in the manga, so I've been trying to find a way to watch the Bowie movie. Yeah, that Dragon Ball was always weird because even though I never actually watched it myself, <laughs> if you were like my if you're my age at all or anywhere close to it, you pretty much grew up with it regardless because it got it got massive here in America just yeah. from like Cartoon Network playing it. And it, even though I never watched it, I definitely have heard enough about it and seen enough commercials for it. Mm-hmm. It's very strange to see an anime get treated that way over here in the West. Part of the time, was, especially. Yeah, but the time. I believe it was also on Toonami. Yeah, it was yeah. on Toonami. And then somehow when Kai came out, they put it on Nickelodeon at a point. God, Kai ruined... Uh, well, no. no. It took out all the filler. The, the, the dub was... The... <laughs> You should hear the 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 dub of uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai's uh, Jace voice. That's a YouTube video. I mean, the original dub ain't that <laughs> good. When evil. Goku punches, when Goku punches him in the face, and 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 then the anime, like he he, the, the sounds he makes, <laughs> he goes ah 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 ah. I mean, I have that's what it sounds like. I have most of the VHSs of the original release, and I can tell you that dub ain't so hot in the full place either of the original. Yeah, there was. Uh, I believe we talked about this at one point off screen at some point, or maybe I, I just read it myself. But uh, one one of the translation the translations in, in the subtext like had it had it so like there Goku was not a Saiyan or anything like that. Like all of that was not put in. And he was just a normal human. I think that was a <laughs> v- poor fan translation originally. Ah, uh, you know what I'm talking about then. I but, think so. And I was, and I was like, like, how are you going to explain the Saiyans and all that? Because I know there was actually when DBZ was first being released, it, there were people who were making fan translations of it too, and the fake moon thing that Vegeta does in the full stock of DBZ, he says that. Uh, Goku's father came up with that as one of the poor translations, which is not true. 
That was my fourth. UG, your number four. All right, my number four is one that I actually watched early, earlier this year, and that's going to be How to Keep a Mummy, which I'm not sure if either of you have watched. I did not, but I remember you talking a bit about it before. All right, so uh, it's, a, it's again, it's a really adorable one. Um, it's about a high school kid um, named, I think his name was like Sora, because I remember, you know, Kingdom Hearts, I, I remember Sora. Usually I'm awful with names. His, his, he has a dad who's he's never actually in the show, I don't think. But he's like a self-proclaimed adventurer, so he's always going across the world, like sending back Sora, sending Sora back like gifts that he usually does not want anything to do with, cursed objects and the such, <laughs> um, demon dolls. Um, we don't get to see that part, unfortunately. But his dad sends him back a, a big old sarcophagus, and when Sora opens it up, this little tiny mummy comes out. And then the, the whole show is basically just him him bonding with this little little pet mummy that, that doesn't talk or anything. He just waddles around and eventually Sora's friends also come across to, like their own mm-hmm. own pets. And they're usually like some sort of yokai or like some something from mythology. Mm-hmm. Um, they all end up with their little pets. It's it's basically just a slice of life show, um, about him and his friends and their their adventures with those little their little companions. That actually does it, sound it's, pretty interesting. It's super adorable. <laughs> it's only got one season at the moment. I'm not sure if they're working on a second or not. Um, they what left it off again? like there would be a second. Uh, how to Keep a Mummy. I don't know what the Japanese name is, but How to Keep a Mummy. Huh. It is on Crunchyroll. Uh, there was another mummy, mummy one, but I, I don't think it's the same one I'm thinking of. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, if you're at all into Slice of Life or Adorable, I would definitely recommend it. Definitely sounds interesting. I might have to take a look at it. Should. I recommend it highly. It's got the Yuji stamp of approval. My 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 authoritative anime stamp of approval. <laughs> my number four pick is basically a uh, nostalgia pick for me, but I've been rewatching it recently and I think it still holds up pretty well. Digimon Tamos, aka the third series of Digimon. Oh yeah! Oh god, there's so many. To... Oh, I can't. <laughs> so many. No. So many I, already have many. I already have too many on my on my honorable mentions. My, 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 my... Yeah, too many. Yeah, continue. So pretty much, and this version of Digimon World. Uh, no, the Digimon world. It's pretty much more like, in tune with our world, where Digimon's a media product. The card games popular. There's video games of and whatnot. And. The main character is making pretty much a fan crea- a fan creation Digimon. He scans it through a Digivice. I think it was a toy Digivice originally. He scans it through it and it creates it in actual in the actual world. It was uh it was it was part of the card game where you could you could scan the cards in the card game. Okay, that's what it was. And then it became a real Digivice and created Geomon, who is now pretty much a newborn Digimon who with no knowledge of the digital world or anything like that. And he ends up running into other Tamers and wild Digimon, and pretty much is them bonding with their Digimon and them trying to figure out why Digimon are coming to the world. Yeah, and in the city. Yep, in the city. And there's a mysterious government agency that seems to be trying to destroy the Digimon that come through. And yeah, it's actually one of, if I remember correctly, it's probably of the first three at least. It's probably the darkest one of the three. Yeah, I don't know. I've watched Digimon in my day, but I'm not sure if I ever made it quite that far into yeah. the series, that is. <laughs> and no, me and you, a couple of years ago, watched part of the full season again. Yeah. I watched a good, like, when we were kids, there wasn't the stream and stuff, of course. So, like, mm-hmm. what I've watched of Digimon was either, either recorded or, like, <laughs> just off the TV as it played. So, I never, like, fully yeah. watched, watched it. Oh, even, uh... If you were just getting VHSs and whatnot, they did not release the entirety of the full se- series on VHS. They only released right. they released five volumes of it. That's that's because you could only get like an episode and a half on the VHS. Yeah, they released five volumes of it. It was like the first three volumes were almost the entire full season, and then the other two volumes were just climaxes of other seasons, which is kind of hilarious. Digimon, Digimon Tamers was my favorite season as well, and and the only one that I watched all the way through. I feel like I've probably watched the full, 
I've probably watched the first four seasons all the way through. I don't know why I stuck with the fourth one so much, but... That was like a solid time. Hmm. Yeah, I'd, I, saw, I saw it falling off on the one where the guy starts punching the Digimon to get data to Digivolve his Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dude, that's like, that's, oh my god, that's so amazing. Like, yeah. just punches a, oh my god. Yeah, and then the uh, there was another one that was like, I, it got localized as Fusion Wars, I believe, or just Fusion, where it's a, where there's pretty much no Digivolving, it's all combining Digimon to do stuff. What's, I know it did poorly in America, I don't know how poor it did in Japan, but it did poorly enough in America that the next two series didn't get localized at all. Shout my That's always a shame. I, that's mm-hmm. the one problem mm-hmm. <clears throat> to being a, a even a, a anime fan. Mm-hmm. The one problem about being an anime fan is like you never know what is and isn't localized. Yeah. And even if it's not like officially localized, you still have to like hunt down like a mm-hmm. sub or something. It it, it gets yeah. very complicated. Mm-hmm. It's it's a shame that everything isn't easily universally rolled over, mm-hmm. which always makes me wonder. Like I'm sh- I'm sure it is the same way over there that they. Mm. They want to watch something from the West, and they can't because that hasn't been localized. I'm yeah. not sure how popular Western media is over there. I'm not, I'm not too soul either. But it, it, it's very frustrating. Which apparently sucks, because apparently the season after Fusion has one of the best climaxes in the series, I hear. Yeah, I can imagine. It, it, it all gets better to a point before it goes downhill, I, I guess. But... I could spoil it only because I, I saw it and heard about it. Yeah, I... well, Let's not spoil it here. And then I know there was uh, pretty much a soft reboot that was like Appmon or something like that. Where they right. tried wow. rebranding Digimon entirely, or s- s- from what I've heard. Nah. And then Can't Dig- get rid of the Digimon name. Yeah. <clears throat> and then Digimon Try came out, which was six movies that was a sequel to the first two series of Digimon. And then they've rebooted the full series, which is currently ongoing. And is easily gettable in the West because it's on both Quincy Will and Hulu. So, who do you think's got the best number four? If I if I'm going to give I'd a vote, say... <laughs> go ahead. No, I I'd, I'd say DBZ, honestly. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. I haven't actually watched it, but I know how how massive that is and mm-hmm. how big and popular it is, and, yeah. and like it, it still feels like it's a part of part of my childhood. Just even though I never watched it, just because I, so, I I took so much of it in through osmosis. Yeah, just, just I'll, sucked it up. I'll give it yeah. easy as well. <laughs> Wait, what? Ugh, why are we doing this ranking thing again? God damn it! Really you you got to make the definitive we, list. We you did made this that in the episode. last episode. Yep. Yeah, it's got it. We've got to have the definitive top ten list, our top five list that nobody can argue with. <laughs> just make it a competition. <laughs> no, it's not a competition. My number three. This is this is super emotional. Uh, so my number three. Art capture Sakurai. <laughs> Sakurai. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know what the sub subtitle for that is. You were close. Card capture Sakurai. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I got Smash on the brain, man. Put Sakurai off in there. I got excited. New character. New character in Smash. Sakura, Hard cap for Sakurai. That girl from Sakura. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a, a magical girl, Sakura. Oh, that'd be great. My number three is Angel Beats. I was close, man. That sounds right up Card Captors Alley. I think I've heard of it, but I've never actually watched it. Yeah, I tried to sho- I I tried to shove it down your throat to watch it before it's off, but you're like, yeah. But like, uh, and, I, and, I, and I was the same way at first when it was recommended to me by a friend, and they were like, just give it a chance. And I was like, okay, all right. So Angel Beats, uh, it starts off, uh, and they explained this in the first episode, so I guess it's not that much of a spoiler. I'd say, say anything it, right? within the first, like, two or three episodes, just free game to talk about. Okay, so the, uh, the main character is this dude, and he wakes up uh, on, on the, in the front of a school, and it, it turns out he died. And the whole school has like a few more students that also died, and uh, they were brought there when they died as a sort of a sort of filter thing to help them pass on. So they're they're stuck there at the school on the school and the school grounds, etc. Mm-hmm. And, and, and until they can come to terms with and then finally move on and disappear. Mm-hmm. And the whole the whole thing is about them resisting that and trying to and trying to like not have that happen because they don't want to disappear they don't want to get reincarnated you know and mm-hmm. like lose yourself 
So so it's like that, but it's but it's like a big comedy at first, sort of. As they're just like they're hanging out and doing stuff and and talking about things and all that, and you have to really you have to keep watching because the the big hitter, the big smack in the face, the big heart wrenching thing that you will not expect comes like right at the end, Damn. right at the end, a, a, a revelation comes up and and I cried. I didn't expect to cry, but it was the first time I cried at at, at the end of that, and it was just ah wow, Jesus. But like, like it really, it really, it, you, you wouldn't exp- watch it. God damn it! Just watch it. <laughs> just watch it. It's not, it's not that many episodes. Just watch it. Uh, if you don't cry at the end, then you're a monster. You're an absolute monster. I, and I don't cry, but I cried. I, god damn, I cried. I sobbed. I sobbed. I whimpered. I, I boohooed. Sorry, boy. Um, but an- yeah, Angel Beats. Like you know, you'll get, give it a shot. Maybe. Sorry. As someone who's never heard of that anime, even the title, mm-hmm. I'm trying to parse out if if it's just like angelic beats, like the 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 food. <laughs> is it? Is it? Are are the angels dancing really like intensely? Like what is it? <laughs> where where'd the title come from? Well, the opening has a lady with wings on a piano. Ah, let's see. Take that. Of course. Why? Why did I think of that? No, I'm just playing though. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, it does sound interesting. It it is like like I. Uh, all right, I'm I, yeah, I'm done. That was my number three. Mm. All right, my number three. We can gloss over really quick because it's a uh, Death Note, which has already been on Zoth's list. <gasps> uh, I have it a little higher, just probably because I don't have as many anime under my belt. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's really solid, man. I, I'm pretty sure anybody's into anime has probably already watched it. But if not, you need to give it a go. Even as somebody who's not a fan of, like your typical like shonen, like your action animes, it's 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 up there for me. I had a feeling that would we'd both have that on the list. Yeah. My number three is Future Daiwi, or the Japanese name Waianiki. Ooh. I'm dark. So I know size watched a bit of it, but I don't think you have Yuji. No, I, I feel like you've talked to me about it before, but I've not actually watched any of it. Yeah. Or the title sounds familiar, at least. Pretty much, uh, main character is a loner, doesn't like talking with people or anything like that. He spends all of his free time writing a diary in his phone. And when he gets home, he normally talks to what he calls his imaginary friends, who is a little demony thing called Momo, and the god of cosmos. Eh. But within the first episode, you find out God of Cosmos is actually the God of Cosmos. And he's decided that, because he's dying shortly, that he's going to be having a contest to see who is the next God of all space and cosmos by giving 13 people who are keeping diaries, diaries that view the future and putting them in a death game against each other. Those are always fun. Yep. So, kill or be killed... Only one person can survive and win, and the winner becomes the next god of space and time. And each, nice. yep, and each diary is different as well. Like his diary, I believe the sub called it the everything diary pretty much. He, uh, it tells everything that's going to happen around him, but nothing about himself going in. And the main hell. Heroin, who is a stalker, and stalks him and kept a diary all about him, or diary only talks about him and updates every five minutes. Or so. Yeah, so. Death battles, though killing people killing each other and whatnot. Yeah, that sounds pretty solid. Mm-hmm. I do like a good, uh, good yeah. encouragement for children to... to... <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> for children to kill children. That's what I was going to say, just so it doesn't get weird. But It's uh, not just children, too. I think one of the people is like an old... At least one of them is an old man. Quite a few of them are adults. Oh, okay. One of the, I just assumed that all anime protagonists are, are characters are, are high schoolers. Well, the main two are high schoolers, but most of the others aren't. Most of them are adults, like, in the second oh, episode. That's a little better. In the second I like good reason for adults to kill adults. Sorry, that sounds a lot better. <laughs> What else to kill children? Mm, 
That might be where I draw the line. But uh, in the second episode, they end up teaming up with another person who's a police detective who kept a diary about all the cases he was working on. Oh yeah, I can see that. You know, it's a decent length. It's twenty something episodes, so it doesn't go on for a hundred plus. I yeah, uh, gotta be careful with some animes because they go on for a while. <laughs> Though I say that, but uh, at least two of the animes on my list are are pretty lengthy. Like Camp Tallo. Yeah, <laughs> that bad boy has got a lot of episodes. <laughs> What was that other death game where like you, they killed each other with bombs? Uh, Batum. Yeah, that's silly. <laughs> that's Splatoon, but with bombs. Yeah, silly. The Splatoon manga. I know we're not talking about mangas at the moment. Uh, it, Splatoon manga, mad it, dumb. It has a manga and anime, but I think the anime adaptation is considered wolves. Oh, GJ, how it goes. Mm-hmm. But I'm not 100% sure on that. In fact, in fact, I think Batum ended like either last year or this year. Sorry. Oh, oh, jeez. Mhm. Because yeah, I know me and you talked about it a long, a while ago, like four or five years. Because bombs and like being strategic with your bombs and kill people, other people on the island, of the death game. And everyone has their own like bomb ability or something. I say, I'm a I do like bomber man. It's say, like it's like bo- it's like Bomberman, but anime. Oh, so I gotta say, that. I'm a sucker for death game anime slash manga. Yeah, it's off, off loves those. I, I like a good one now and then. I like him because they're not afraid to kill characters off normally. <laughs> that that is the main premise. Yes, <laughs> it's better. It's better when you have a like a uh, a character that's not the main character, but they end up being a nice person and then they just die in a sad way because they have to. You know, <laughs> at least at a at because there can only be one winner. Mm-hmm. Even then, at least uh, in a lot of Sonin back when we were growing up, I believe they barely killed any characters off, unless they were a bad guy. I'm not sure if that was just like a localization thing or what, because or they get killed off and come back the next episode. Yeah, because like DBZ, they have the Dragon Balls. Anyone that dies, they can just whisk back to life. Or... No. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Dragon Balls are magical, man. Yeah, so. Yep, who, who knew? So, who's got the best of both way? Uh, I'm hey, going to have to get I, number three. Oh, you guys go ahead. Action. I'm, I'm sorry, like, Angel Beats was too emotional for me. I gotta choose Angel Beats. I can't. I got to. Oh, okay. I, I was gonna go with Future Diary since you already got Death Note at number one. Five. Dang it! I was I was so hoping somebody would choose Death Note so I could get Death Note on here twice. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, out of the the the, all right. So I've never watched either of them since I'm the tiebreaker. The one that, from listening to you guys talk about it, that I'm more likely to watch is definitely going to be the Future Diaries. I'm not gonna lie, I do like a good Hunger Games. Hunger Games is one of my favorite favorite franchises at the moment. Um, Fair enough. I'm gonna give it to Future Diaries because that sounds pretty rad. Though, meh. Though I do, I do like to have a good cry every now and then. So I might check out the other one as well. But mm-hmm. so. oh, good! I got his right future dairy <laughs> in my my official list. <laughs> Sai with the number two. <laughs> Magic of Sakurai. <laughs> I mean, there's no no shame in it, man. I'm sorry. It, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's just so funny. That it works so well. You just like you just change like one or two letters, and then, and then Sakurai suddenly, and suddenly. And then I'm sorry that I put that in your head. <laughs> yeah, so I he's mean, he's a good man. I don't mean any any disrespect from it. No, no, I I think it's really funny. It's like it's mm-hmm. giving me a giggle. It's giving me it's giving me good feels. My, my imagination's running wild. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh. You think I have the ultimate Sakurai card? Cards. It just his face. It's just his face on it, and he's like holding up two peace signs. <laughs> Please let me go I, home. I, I summon Sakura. <laughs> Add another character to Smash now. Who's not making it into Smash? Stop asking. Where's, where's my Sora? <laughs> Sora's next patch. I promise. <laughs> 
I really hope that they add a Kingdom Hearts character that's not uh, Seth Roth or, or Cloud. But I really hope they add a Kingdom Hearts character, but it's not Sora, just to that's slap the fans in the face. <laughs> like, Dude, that'd be great. <laughs> or somebody, yeah. It's, uh, I, I read about why Sora hasn't been added yet, and apparently there's like a lot of legal reasons. And, and Disney yeah, owns them. Yes, yeah, yeah, and they're like very stingy. Like they want they they want the agreement to benefit them the most. Like yeah, 80%. You'd, you'd be just as likely to get like Donald or Goofy into the game because Disney mm-hmm. owns them, and they're not going to let anybody else touch them. Yep. Yeah, they're very stingy. Disney's a Disney's an asshole. So the one the they'll pretty much in the void, just like Goku and the Ludo and SpongeBob. Not to get off on a weird tangent, but it's it's very rare. But Disney. Land and World actually have Kingdom Hearts, Donald and Goofy costumes that they walk around every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> They're like at their armor awesome. and have their, their their weapons. It's pretty yeah. good. That's hilarious. I always wanted to go to Disneyland. I never did growing I've up. I've never been I'm either. Sad about it. Damn. Yeah, not to get off on weird tangent. We can get back on track though. What's a what size number two? That's not card capture Sakurai. <laughs> 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 I can't stop. I, I like. I almost like had it out of my mind, and then you brought it right back. Bye. Um. Uh. So I, I'm I'm past my crying phase. Uh. Yeah. So n- number two, uh, Hunter X Hunter, 2011. I've okay. heard I've heard that that title before, but it's another one that I had no idea what what it is. Okay, so the 2011 this, adaptation, and not the one that happened earlier. There, there, there is an there's an older one like 1999. Yeah, or something like that. It's, it's it has a more dark and gritty uh, art style, mm-hmm. and I think it more or less follows the same story. Yeah, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, Hunter, Hunter X Hunter 2011. This is this is uh, this is a, a long anime, but it's a good kind of long anime. This is a like a steady progression, slow burner anime that that like. That that's like that that's really great. It's really fun. It's really it's like 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 you you feel the progression. You don't you don't like it's not like suddenly oh I have this I I suddenly I'm suddenly ten times stronger. I beat your face and I got angry. Like there's real progression. Like they they train and stuff at mm-hmm. some points. Oh that that's even that's even that even that's a long bit away. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, Hunter X Hunter. Uh, starring or the main character is like gone at first. And he's in a village, uh, and his father also left, left and didn't say much of anything. But God knows he went to become a hunter, and hunters pretty much do a bunch of jobs around the world, such as fighting monsters, doing chores, like saving cats from a tree. Like there's all all very variations of them. And uh, his father went to take the hunter exam, which is like a dangerous, uh, very dangerous exam where you could die, potentially, because uh, you. Because they need, need need to know if you have the stuff, you know, for the perils and stuff of what the job may, might entail. And and Gon was all excited, and and like, he's still a kid. He, he's a kid, and he was like, I- "I'm gonna go take the hunter exam." So so uh, he he does that. His mom was did not want him to go and do that, obviously for obvious reasons. Uh, but he goes goes right in. Uh, had some hardships on the way. At one point, there's like a tournament. As part of the hunter exam, pitting people against each other. Uh, there's, a, there's a survival part where they're trying to steal tags from each other that were placed on them, and and you got points depending on it. if you if you get your target's tag, it's like three points or something, or is it five points? Or, and if you get someone else's tag, it's one point, and you have to get a certain number of points. And I think did, to, I think you also pass. I think you also got points for keeping your own tag as well. Uh, I think you lost if you had lost if you oh, yeah, you couldn't, that, that you might couldn't have been win it. if you if you lost your tag. That might have been it. I think you couldn't pass if yeah. if you lost your tag, so you'd you would have to get it back. He he meets he meets a friend during the exam called Kiliwa, and he's like a an, he's part of an assassin family, and he's, he's a kid who doesn't want to be an assassin. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain without like yeah, without spoiling going, a lot of things because like. As I mean, a you don't have to explain anime, the whole I story. I think that's a good explanation for at least the opening arc. Yeah, yeah there's, I got the gist. There's there's adventure, there's fighting, mm-hmm. there's wonder, there's mystery, yeah. there's some unexpected parts, like a card game eventually that they go through. Nice. They go through that. Yu-Gi-Oh really was big really at the time. 
It's uh. Well, I guess 2011 it, isn't. It, no. Oh, but uh, it's, it's like a manga. It's like a re- in the 90s. Oh, okay. But it's like a real world card game. Like like, uh, they're, they're transported on this island and they have cards which can uh, do. If they lose, do they go to the shadow realm? No, they they act like fight each other, but the cards give yeah. certain effects. Yeah, and the main the goal, of, the main goal of that game is to uh, yeah. Um, the main goal of the game is to collect every single card, at least one card of everything in on the on in the set. Mm-hmm. That, that was the main goal of the. That's always the, the main goal of card game. card games for me. Collecting everything. Yeah, but some are like extremely rare and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, like, and and then after that, there's also a really, 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 really sad and controversial arc that's like also very dark, mm-hmm. and. There, uh, the database itself, it has so many like underlying tones and 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 things you would have to think about to 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 like to see, like 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 like. It would be a spoiler if I said something. Um, I think we got the gist though. I mean, like I said, we we don't have to explain the whole story. Hmm. It's a slow slow burner anime that's really great. It's really it's really great. I remember I was yeah. reading the manga at a point. I'm not sure how different the manga and anime were, but it was pretty good. Sounds sounds like a solid time. I do like a good uh, good bounty hunter. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Yuji, if you're number two. Alright, so my number two um, is going to be uh, Agretsuko. I don't know if either of you watched that one. I'm not so hey, offhand. Uh, I'm not even sure if I thought of it. I'm not sure uh, myself. It is a... Anime made by Sanrio, which are like the people who do Hello Kitty and have all those other characters. Um, big fan of Sanrio, so of course this one stuck with me pretty well. It's I, I believe it's only on Netflix. I could be wrong about that, but here in the West at least it's on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a slice of life about uh, Red Suko, Red Panda, who's just doing her, her daily. It, it's literally okay, like yeah, a slice of life. It slice of life gets. It, uh, it. I've just seen... deals with. Yeah, what's up? I've seen clips of it now that you've mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's definitely Sanrio. Like all the characters have that style, um, but she gets she gets aggressive. It's not like a kitty, kitty kitty show. It's got some real real world kind of like problems that they talk about in it. And it's just Red Suko, the Red Panda, going through her daily life um, at her office job and how kind of miserable she is at times and love interests and it's all that good stuff. The last the last season they were. Dealing with, uh, she got a, a VR headset and got really into like a VR chat esque game where she was spending all of her money, like her bank accounts going to zero because she's spending all her money on these microtransactions because she's just like pretty much depressed. So oh. it, 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 it's, it's sand real, so you expect it to be kind of kitty, but it's definitely not a kitty show. But it's, it's, it's really good. It gets a little too real sometimes. Definitely sounds interesting. Yeah, but if you're, it's it's 100% slice of life though. So if you're not into that, of course you're not gonna like it. But if you are into that that style, um, that genre, it's yeah. definitely uh, up there. Awesome. That's all I really say about it. It's a really good show. Really cute. Cutely drawn, at least. That's cool. I don't, I'm not sure if I've seen that either, but it sounds it sounds pretty. Yeah, I've definitely seen clips of it on like maybe top. And an- new anime of 2019 or something like that on top yeah, of the it's, new season. It's still like recent. That. And it's one of those ones that a lot of like non-anime fans probably know more about it because it is on Netflix and it gets a little more exposure that way. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's, it's, it's solid. It's a solid watch. Good stuff. My number two is something that used to come on Adult Swim, but I avoided watching it at, back then. Uh, Code Geass. Uh, uh, I was I was wondering if you'd have that on there. Yep. Uh, they oh, used to oh. come on Adult Swim by back, I'd say, around, what would you say, Sire? Earth Lady, somewhere around there. I have no idea. I watched it, I watched it late myself. Yeah, well, I know it used to come on Adult Swim at the very least, and pretty much the story is the main character is a student in, uh, Japanese school, as they call it, in their District 11, which had, was just conquered within the past 15 years by the Britannian Empire, which appears to be the British Empire, but it never co- collapsed. 
and uh, though the newly emitted in, uh, the main character and his friend were going to school after winning a bunch of money gambling. And on a chess game, I think, or they'd bet money they could beat someone at a chess game or something like that, and main character won. And uh, while they're doing that, some governmental thing was uh, captured by the resistance, and he gets caught in the cross of it between giant mechs and soldiers and whatnot. And the governmental thing opens up, and there's a woman with long green hair, and I can't remember exactly how, but she gives him an ability. And the ability is, he can give one command to anybody. And they have to obey the command no matter what. In the opening scene when he gets that ability, he's surrounded by soldiers. And he commands them all to kill themselves. So they all point their guns at their own heads and blow the brains out. There's been, I've not seen Kirby ask them. Mm -hmm. But there, there's been a few characters uh, that I've seen that have a similar ability like that. It's always like terrifying to think about. Like yeah. I, I would not want to be whispered mm -hmm. at and then told to like do something that I do not want to do. Yeah. And it's him pretty much using that ability, joining the rebellion, leading the rebellion, and trying to free Japan from the empire. Right. But he'll do stuff like test with the ability to see how it is like how long it lasts and stuff like that. Like there was one of his tests. I go to the school he commanded to uh, every day at a specific time to go to a spot on the wall and make and like put a tally on it. And it shows the tally it's that he's up to like twenty five when he when they're talking about it. And the, like, so it doesn't wear off. It's yeah. a uh, it's pretty good. Uh, it's it was like the first mech anime I ever actually liked because it's. Probably the third one I've actually liked, but it, I'm not much on the mech genre either. Yeah, but but like it, it's sort of like Death Note combined with mechs. That's how crazy he, he gets, but it's pretty good. Like I said, him leading a rebellion, trying to separate, to keep his the rebellion <laughs> separate from his school life, trying to flee Japan. I feel like that one. Mm -hmm. It, it has nothing to do with how you described it, but that one, I feel like I would have to watch to understand more. Yeah, and I feel like it doesn't translate the summary very well. It does not. Um, I mean, it, it sounds pretty interesting, but... Yeah. yeah, I feel like I'd have to watch an episode or two to kind of get what, 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 what it is actually about. I know it's on Crunchyroll, Funimation... Uh, maybe Hulu, I'm not so on Hulu. Right. And I don't think it's on Netflix. No, they do got a little anime section, but it's not it's not the biggest. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it's also, I'm probably just not good at explaining, because it, to me, it's, as you said, it's something that seems hard to explain. Right. Yeah, and Death Note with Max does sound rad, though. Yeah. I could always use a little more Death Note. They just have, like, similarities with their personality. Right. Like, yeah. They're, 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 yeah, they're I see what you're crazy saying. Crazy mm -hmm. personality, and he's like, <laughs> I'm gonna take back this lab. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and the item lights, like, I'm gonna be the god of this world! They do get really crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Though I don't so think there's anything comparable to the chip scene. <laughs> chip god, scene. That's, that's, that's such the a, death that's such a chip scene is so good. <laughs> it's a meme. It's a big meme now. Or... Mm -hmm. chip. So, so who'd say is the best number two? What are you guys, uh... What are you guys thinking? Uh, I have to go with Code Geass, I guess, because okay. I I'm not I haven't I haven't really seen the other one. <laughs> yeah, that makes it easy on me then. <laughs> I was just saying I'm at the very first show that I had never seen again. <laughs> Sigh with number one. All right, so this is my most favorite anime. Like it was almost perfect in every single way, and I always have fun memories of it. And I've actually watched it more. Well, I watched through it more than once, which is something I can't say about most anime I've watched. It's like, ah, it's not, it's, it's pretty good. It's also kind of an old one, but like it holds up well enough, I think. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Coincidentally, also made by the same guy who made Hunter Hunter, I believe. Nice. I have no idea, but uh, Yu Yu Hakusho uh, stars with a, a street punk kind of dude, and he's just walking, he's just normally walking through the, the, the town one day, 
and a kid almost gets uh, is, is about to get rid of it by a car mm-hmm. and he jumps in to save to save him and then he dies he gets run over by the car smack and that's the end of the anime <laughs> <laughs> but he, he he actually dies mm-hmm. uh so that so then he's a, he's a spirit and and uh uh, King, what's what is his name? Yama, uh, who, who, who yeah, Yama, who deals with you know uh, spirits and sending them off to the afterlife, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, he gets does he get called to his office? I think, yeah, or something. Uh, the Green or... Reaper takes him to the office. The Blue oh yeah, 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 yeah. He gets taken to the office, and and the the king says, uh, "You weren't supposed to die. We our our records show that you 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 were like a punk you're an asshole like you were not going to save anybody you were just going to die a lonely death but you saved a life so we don't know where to put you uh so he ends up working for him instead as a spirit detective eventually mm-hmm. uh and at first it's kind of like a comedy but it it evolves quick enough to like actual fighting and stuff uh it it progresses uh he 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 fights demons and all this other stuff uh, eventually, there's also a tournament arc in this as well because you can't have a can't have a, a can't have these enemies without a tournament arc. Every, they all need a tournament arc. Get a lot of soon and have tournament arcs. Uh, uh, yeah, like he he fights and everything. There's character growth, all that good stuff. Uh, annoying uh, childhood friend check. Uh. Uh, but the, the the best thing about this anime is that it had virtually no filler whatsoever. Like it was all, it was all canon. It was all important. It was all through the whole thing. Like just nonstop action and adventure. I was saying, the first arc is like so I was saying not so much action but comedy based about him pretty much trying to get his body back. Yes, which I will not spoil if he does or not. Maybe he dies. Maybe he's dead forever. I mean, he's already dead, so... That's true. Yeah, one of the funny things that I... Well, one of the things I find funny is that one of my favorite characters in it was actually just supposed to be a one-off villain. <laughs> but apparently, yeah. they, the character was liked so much, they ended up blading him back into the cell. Part of me really likes it when that happens, part of me really hates it when that happens. I'm like, I want to see what the author's original intent was, but also like it that the character was liked so much that they just become... Mm-hmm. They're just like I can't kill this guy off. He's he's beloved now. <laughs> what character was it? Uh, he a uh, or hide or something. I can't remember how oh. the pronunciation is. He a yeah he a that's what it was. I've read the manga more recently than watched the anime. The the and also another asshole with a heart of gold. <laughs> yeah, originally it was just supposed to be a one-off asshole villain. <laughs> that's my uh. least favorite kind of villain. <laughs> The old butthole villain. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. <laughs> You're number one, UG. Alright, my number one. If if there was a nerd spider who bit me and gave me my nerd powers, this, it'd be all due to this top number one franchise, and that's going to be Pokemon. Pokemon's a... <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I could point at Pokemon and blame it for pretty much how my life turned out. <laughs> um, I'm not complaining, it's yeah. great. Um, yeah, that's but definitely understandable. even though it's not even though it's not my favorite form of Pokemon, it's my favorite anime, and I still watch it to this day. Every now and then, I watch a couple episodes, go back in time. Um, it's just, I mean, I know it's not it's not actually probably the best anime like in, in the the scope of things, but it means the most to me. And I remember loving it as a child. I haven't watched just, anything recently. And just in case we do need a summary for the people who haven't watched Pokemon or seen Pokemon. Um, boy, turn every young boy who turns, I think it's like ten, mm-hmm. wakes up, goes to their local professor, gets himself a monster that fits in their pocket. <laughs> some some call him Pokemon, short for Pokemon Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Monster. But yeah, he 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 collects his his Pokemon and goes off on an adventure to to fight and tame other monsters and meets meets it's it's about the friends he meets on the way, you know. And, you get. Get a little Brock, get a little Misty, get a little May, get a little... I Brandon. don't know, many of them. Yeah, Brandon. No, wait, I think of Max. I'm thinking Max. I, I've, I've admittedly not watched a lot of Pokemon, because there's a lot of Pokemon. Yeah. It's a lot, but 
I've watched a good chunk of the, the beginning of it, yeah. and, and I go back to it pretty much yearly. There's there's always some some point I'm watching through some Pokemon. And there's more um, than a couple banned episodes in a, in the West. Yeah, that's always a fun rabbit hole to go down. See the banned episodes of. I'm sure other series have banned episodes as well. Pokemon has some some silly bands, yeah. silly banned episodes, especially yeah. compared to like other anime that are out. That mm-hmm. this seems pretty tame for why they get banned. Honestly, just ones that were banned episodes specifically, and not banned series. Is off the top of my right. head, I can only think of one, which was uh, Ghost Stories. I won't be able to tell you anything that any banned yeah. series. That's that's pretty rare to like, mm-hmm. unless you're like in a a more strict region. Yeah. To see things like that get banned here. Just straight up banned. <laughs> that was, so I'm thinking of a ghost story. even banned in Japan. Ah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like part of me is like, man, that must be pretty bad. But then at the same time, it's probably like really stupid. Yeah. It, uh, if I remember correctly, the banned episode's about the slip mouth woman. They were worried about it. Like people comparing it to people with cleft lips or something like that. Yeah, it's usually usually something along those lines. Yeah, Pokemon's but, yeah. A pretty good number one. Pokemon's my number one. I mean, it's it's it started just about everything for me, yeah. like my gaming hobby, my my love for for just nerdum in general. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Collected Pokemon cards it, it got me addicted, just like collecting things, <laughs> which probably is 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 a bad habit, but I love it. <laughs> I love collecting everything. I've got many collections going on. How's your Wupa collection going? It's going strong, yeah. I actually got it from your wife, actually. You gifted me another addition to it this year for Christmas. I was going to say, how, what's the number at now? If you I mean, like, uh, Six or seven Wupers mm-hmm. deep. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty good, considering it, it's very rare for Wupers to get merchandise here in the West. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if it's different in Japan or not. I've not checked out their stores. Um, but it's definitely uh, rare for them to bring out merchandise here. Okay, well, my number one... Uh, it's a uh, pretty popular anime slash manga. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yeah, I have actually watched this one. I mm-hmm. haven't completed it though, so I didn't put it on my list. But it would definitely, just based off the, the what I have seen of it, it probably should be on my list. I'm just curious, did you watch the original series of Brotherhood? Um, I can't to... remember which one it is, but I remember asking at the time which one followed the manga, and I've watched that one. Okay, so probably Brotherhood then. Yeah. But, yeah, so. Young alchemist Edward Elric is traveling with his brother Alphonse, trying to find the military officers, and they're trying to find the Philosopher's Stone to restore their bodies, because Elric is missing uh, one of his arms and one of his. Oh, uh, Edward. I Edward, that's, from here. Edward, that's the name. So I mean. Edward's missing one of his arms and le- one of his legs, and Alphonse kind of missing his whole body. Yeah. <laughs> his souls through alchemy had bound his soul to the suit to a suit of armor. And as everyone's thoughts only trying to find the Philosopher's Stone which supposedly can make anything happen and they wanna restore their bodies. And the reason why come Brotherhood's on the list is because it follows more towards the manga and I think the ending's better personally. Yeah, I know the opening episode, the f- fighting a uh, ice guy. There's tons of sword jokes throughout the series. <laughs> Can't relate. Yeah. Though apparently, as it goes on, he actually gets taller and noticeably taller as they're drawing him. Yeah, I do like it when artists do that, when they yeah. actually like change him as they age. Yeah, I've never actually... I never noticed that, but it was pointed out to me at some point, like a year ago. Yeah, usually you can't tell unless you like watch the, the last episode and the first episode back-to-back, mm-hmm. because it's usually so subtle throughout the series. Mm-hmm. If they yeah. do it right, that is. Yeah, there's a character, uh, his childhood friend, Winway, who, at the beginning of the series, he's actually shorter than, and by the end of it, he's taller than, or, so, or equal in height, or something like that. Uh, right. Uh, you know her last name, right? Lockford. Uh, Winry Sakurai. <laughs> nice. It is a, I don't know if you're joking or not, but I mean, that is a, a popular last name in Japan. Or not popular, but a common. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. Yeah, and the culture seems to be, for the so, seem to be European-based. I mean, the leader of the country is called Fjord King Bradley, which Fjord is pretty much 
is a German for pretty much the Lord or leader or whatnot. Yeah, it's pretty much the Lord's only. It's darker than most Sonin, especially I think it's episode 3 or 4. I'm sure Sai knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh. Edward. Yep, he knows immediately what's what I mean. That's it's the saddest point in the whole thing to me. <laughs> like even if, even with the original and the and the the, the redone anime that <laughs> that stayed closer to the the manga ad- adaptation, <laughs> still sad. They still kept it in. Why is <laughs> it a thing? Because that is a thing in the manga too. Oh, it's so sad. And that's how they introduced one of my favorite characters at the end of the arc, Skull. <laughs> Who's got the top number one? Uh, I gotta go Yu Yu Hakusho. It's, it's, it's just so good. I might watch it again. What? What do you think it's all? I'm between Pokemon and uh, the Full Metal Alchemist. Alright. Um, yeah, I, I feel like Pokemon is number one for me, just almost purely, like, I guess nostalgia, but just of how much it, it influenced my life. is. It. Yeah. But if I'm going, like, actually, like, good anime that I'd want to recommend somebody go out and watch right now, it would probably be um, Full Metal Alchemist. Okay. Like, yeah, pretty much the same for me, because Pokemon had, I'm pretty sort of big influence in all of our lives. Yeah. Uh, did you specify Brotherhood? Yeah, not? I specified Brotherhood. But yeah, if we're if we're just talking about good good animes to watch today, I'm gonna to put Brotherhood up there. Yeah, probably the same too. Cause I do have a lot of nostalgia for the Pokemon anime, but it not not necessarily his aids the hundred percent the best. Yeah, like I said, I've not yeah. actually watched. I've watched some of the movies, the more mm-hmm. recent movies, but other than that, I've not watched a whole lot of. Yeah, I haven't watched the new movies. anime. Like, I've watched, it's a lot of anime out there for Pokemon. Yeah. If you have a favorite Pokemon, just go on the wiki look it up and you're you're gonna find at least one or two episodes that have just fully deal with that pokemon and if you want it's it's good stuff if you want a main character that ages though might not might not be your anime yeah (laughs) (laughs) but that being said though there are a lot of uh, albeit fan theories Mm -hmm. a lot of fun fan theory rabbit holes to go down about that yeah one of my favorite, th- it's got one of my favorite things of localization with the waste balls that they call donuts and the yeah, Mickey There's episode. a lot of. Uh, uh, and, 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 we were talking and, about uh, subs and dubs before. I, I've 100% only watched that so are dubbed. Yeah, same and, thing. And to some of the, you could, it's, it's got some rough spots and they're so bad that even I can tell, like without <laughs> seeing them side by side, that that was just localized bad. Like. <laughs> To try to yeah. update it for a Western audience because they don't think we'll know what what's going on, it and it's just hilarious. Like Digimon, they won't play the cost on a waste ball, but anything that had al- that was like alcohol in it, they changed. Like I know a lot of the characters had hot sauce containers on them. <laughs> just hot. <laughs> yeah, instead of chugging, alcohol. Chugging hot sauce sounds <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> way worse of an influence than chugging <laughs> chugging a beer. And and who could forget like Dryden Pan? Yeah, the Dryden. Yeah. <laughs> That was that wasn't just that was a localization thing though. That was just a funny joke. Yeah. <laughs> I turn my frying pan into like, a drying pan and he holds it up what, block what, green. What did he say in Japanese? No clue, but To be honest, it, I would have no idea but, but it's probably got I imagine it's probably a, a more <laughs> joke towards I'm assuming it's still a joke, but more angled towards Japanese audiences. Yeah, I don't want to say good. And it is a fun watch. I mean, mm-hmm. it probably is nostalgia at this point. Like, if you were just brand new to Pokemon, you probably wouldn't get as much enjoyment out of it. Mm-hmm. But if you've if you've not watched Pokemon in a while, go back and watch some Pokemon. It's 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 a fun time. Yeah. Even if you just throw it on to have in the background while you play something else, it's a. You don't have to pay a lot of attention to it because it is it is geared towards kids. Mm-hmm. I, know I, I would also I I also feel like that they would make so they would make more money if they did like a Pokemon Dungeon uh, anime series like. Uh, those were received pretty well, and they did like I one, one, think one they did. For each, they, like, thing. I think they've always they done, started. Like, they do like one episode. Yeah, for each new game. Well, they used to anyway. At least, yeah. Last I hold, I know they did it. For I definitely time. remember on Car- Cartoon Network, like seeing that Pokemon talking to each other. I might be just crazy. It's been a while. But they also, I guess, like, they did <laughs> like one episode things, pretty much as long commercials for the game. Right. You might. Yeah, have, I mean, you might have caught one of those. It's crazy 
that Pokemon, I'm pretty sure, unless it's been dethroned, is actually the the biggest media franchise. Like, it, it's the most exciting. It's like, it's so big that it's actually number one, just media, like, in general, like, with toys, uh, mm-hmm. cartoons, video games, the card games, it's all. I would not all slip eyes in that bit. But with the recent the with the recent games, they've uh, actually pissed off a lot of fans. So there's like a, a big blow was hit to the yeah, game franchise. Yeah, uh, the last game was but, a little rough on the uh, edges. I think a lot of people are looking for. Good, a lot yeah, of the sales are... were fine. You wouldn't be able to tell looking at the sales. It's all just the fandom was a little crazy. Um, well, but to be honest, the, the games themselves haven't changed much, which is a complaint to somebody who's been playing them forever. But if you're just yeah. a kid jumping into it like they're intended. Mm-hmm. it's not really that big of a deal mm-hmm. as people made it out, in my opinion. Um, now the things around the edges, like cutting a bunch of Pokemon and like the way it looks, ba- like for mm-hmm. being on a new system, I can I can see some complaints there. Yeah. But as far as gameplay and stuff goes, it's still a really solid game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only thing I really had to complain about was they cut Pokemon and uh, how they keep just making a new thing every game, like Mega Form, Y, oh the yeah. X move, Y move, whatever the fuck they were called, and then now Gigantamax oh. and Dynamax. We're here talking about the anime, and yeah. the anime I don't think cut no Pokemon. Probably not. <laughs> I do like that the anime, not to keep going on and on, mm-hmm. but the anime, like I, I kind of said earlier, that mm-hmm. they usually like pick a Pokemon of the day, and like the almost whole episode is based around like mm-hmm. dealing with something with that Pokemon. <laughs> So yeah. every just about every Pokemon has an episode at this point. Yeah, I mean, it is fun. That's also a thing dating back to the original anime too. I mean, like I mentioned, the Mankey episode. Or... Yeah, the Mankey episode is so good. Mm-hmm. I mean, he catches himself a jelly donut instead of a Mankey. And we also get that to the Pokedex. We also get the origin of the hat. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yeah, so was anyone writing down the definitive list of our top five? Or yeah, I've got it. Okay. Are you ready to go through it? Do you want to do that before we do our honorable mentions? Yeah, so do we do... Yeah, we can do honorable yes, mentions. Yes, go Oh, yeah, what's up, All right, mm. so number five. This is the pen of the list. Nobody can argue. These are the <laughs> top five animes of all time at this current moment. Um, so number five, we've got Death Note. Mm. Number four, we've got Dragon Ball Z. Number three, we've got Future Dairy. <laughs> number two, we've got Code Geass. And number one, Top Dog. Best anime on the planet is Full Metal Alchemist. Now you've got to watch the Brotherhood edition I know to most, get the definitive edition. Most people actually recommend like watching the first fifteen episodes of the Woods, no one's swapping over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because apparently, because Brotherhood, I think they plan or they expect you to have watched the Woods, no one first. Apparently, they they watch through like the first arc or something like that. I can see that. Oh, I can see them not wanting to just remake the first fifteen episodes mm-hmm. again, like. Yeah. Because yeah, it's like it doesn't really differ mm. until like midway in the original anime, I believe, right. something like that. At least that's when the differing actually shows itself. Right. Yeah. So honorable mentions. Starting with Sai. Right. Uh, before before that, mm. I, I want to go on a, on, a, on a mini rant about the Pokemon, the, the current Pokemon anime. Okay. All right. No uh, spoilers though, because I'm going to catch up one of these days. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm joking, by the way. I don't. <laughs> not, re- not, re- not really a spoiler, but it's something to expect. Um, uh, Ash gets a new friend who's like a boy, but he looks really girly. But that, that's, not, that's not the point. Uh, the, the point is they hyped up of them being like the new main character for the future. Supposedly, mm-hmm. this was like the test, uh, the test uh, anime season mm-hmm. to do that if, if it was received well. Uh, but the thing is, what I didn't realize. The, the main character, all he does is play Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Go. Um, that's all he. That's all he does. He he doesn't fight. He just throws Pokeballs and he automatically catches them. I'm not joking. He just yeah, I'm, toss, I'm, tosses and catches. That's not why I watched it. I Ash does battle sometimes, but he does. He also doesn't usually battle to get his Pokemon. They usually just they usually just love him and, and join him. I mean, to be honest, the reason I, w- I always liked it was just to see the Pokemon doing something other than battling, because that's really all you see in the game is kind of like mm-hmm. there, until recently there wasn't even overworld sprites for them like moving around, and so mm-hmm. I always liked to watch the anime because you got to see the Pokemon actually like doing things, 
but yeah, that doesn't sound like it's it. I wouldn't want to watch. Yeah. Because Ash hardly ever called anything, mm. and half the what he called it were because the the power of friendship. They they just wanted to be his friend, you know. Except, <laughs> he like hardly ever threw a Pokeball. Except Primate. Yeah, <laughs> Primate was a bit. That, that's what I'm talking about. Like you would never. I mean, you you could kind of guess based on his appearance that he'd be kind of aggressive like that. But mm-hmm. until the anime came out, you don't know what that Pokemon's personality really like was looks like once they're they're mm-hmm. doing their thing. Like. You wouldn't know the Snorlax be sleeping until he wakes up and eats a whole forest unless it's <laughs> and then goes back to sleep unless it was for the anime. In the game you just see him sleeping. You mm-hmm. just see that he just sleeps. Yep. You wouldn't know that Charizards could have multiple personalities and Ashes really just doesn't like him because he doesn't think he's a powerful trainer, you know, <laughs> until you watch the anime and then you're like, Oh, that's why the gym badges uh mm-hmm. help you yeah. keep control of Pokemon because they respect you. And it's it's just a really good companion. I mean, I know they're not related, mm-hmm. like story-wise, but it's a good companion to I, to play in the game and, and letting seeing that them come to life and imagine yeah, instead of having to imagine that yourself. I don't know which uh, size original rant was about, but I took over there. The Sorry. Pokemon, the Pokemon <laughs> Go guy in the new series. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, Pokemon Go. Yeah, not my that. The anime is not my favorite adaptation to Pokemon. Pokemon Go is probably my least favorite adaptation to Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon Go is, is something. We but I would f- not want a series around it. We get honorable mentions now. Yeah, let's get on it. You have a list size, so you can go ahead and go with that one immediately. Yes, uh, I had some honorable mentions. We, we we don't all have to have them. I just had some because I just have so many to that I couldn't... I don't even have... I. I would I would have like fifty on my honorable mentions. So like I know some are probably missing like all the more mm-hmm. like iconic mainstream ones and stuff. But oh ah doc, ah Doctor Stone. There's I gotta write that. That's I have to add that Doctor Stone. See I I thought up another one. Mm-hmm. So Doctor Stone. Mm-hmm. Doctor Stone's on my honorable mentions list. Great mm-hmm. anime. The second season's coming out soon. Uh, Spice and Wolf. That's a pretty surreal anime. Nice and charm and calming one. Also, uh, that's what the apples reminded me of because she loves apples. The same. Yeah, apples are are kind of a a thing in anime. I feel like just because not to get like into the the things, but usually it's like the reference the apple of a uh, Eden. Mm-hmm. Like the, the Eden is like supposed to be like the first sin or whatever. So it's, yeah, it shows up a lot in. And animes, especially if they're making like biblical references, a lot. Uh, yeah, I have My Hero Academia. It's a pre- pretty good, feel good anime. It has a few tropes, but like they do it so well with with how they they present it. They do it like masterfully. Like you feel good. It's a feel good anime. Most well, usually they get, it, it's going to get a bit darker in the future, but it's a really good anime. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I've, Saw that. Oh, years. Yeah, someone's probably angry yeah, that didn't I, end up on anybody's list. <laughs> <laughs> I it was it was enjoyable. Never thought I'd my, say that. My only experience with it is Zalta really really wanted me to watch it. But at, at a certain season, I it really died off for me, so that's why it's not on my list. But I enjoyed it, so I mentioned it. Well, it's funny because a lot of people uh, love that season too. It, it just the pacing's weird in that season, like mm-hmm. really weird, like. Weird, more weird than usual. Uh, I have Code Geass on there. <laughs> honorable mentions. I have mm. Death Note on honorable mentions. I have Full Metal Alchemist on honorable mentions. Uh, and also Madoka Magica 2011. I've never heard That's, of that one. That is the one with uh, magical, magical, magical girls. Mm-hmm. However, it turns dark and very dark yeah there is there is no lighter it just yeah. gets darker yeah, it was, and darker yeah, it back- starts off happy and magical but then like ooh, yeah, they think, trick you yeah, yeah they start off as normal girls and then and then the a strange being asks them if they want to be magical girls to fight evil yeah. and all that yeah the- and uh you see, uh comparison for it being a trick would be like doki doki literature club yeah yeah. yeah, like all the advertising for it was a light-hearted magical ghoul anime. 
Yeah, I feel like that's a that's that's a good cool move, but at the same time, I feel like it's a dangerous move because if you hit somebody that's not in the audience for that, like not yeah. ready for that, like yeah. a, an actual like young child, mm-hmm. they're not ready for it, you know. Yeah, it's definitely a tricky move to do. But it's it's cool when it's pulled off, like for like for me and like, uh, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. just because I'm into that kind of thing. But if you're not into that, and you get tricked. Uh, I feel like that's a risky move. It definitely it's cool, is. Though. That all your honorable mentions, Sai. That that's all of them. I have there's like fifty more I could think of, but that's, okay, that's we'll all just of them. move on then the UG. All right. So top of mind, I didn't put this one on my list because it's I feel like it's just too controversial to do, but Avatar would have definitely made it on my list <laughs> if I didn't feel like it, it doesn't quite count as an anime. Mm-hmm. Um then you got Attack on Titan. I I really like the, the visuals of that one. Uh never quite finished it so I didn't put it on my list. Um Digimon was on mine. Um, the Devil is a Part Timer. Um, I've watched <laughs> watched that, and that one I really liked, mm-hmm. um, just because it's I, like it's fully starts as a slice life anime. Mm-hmm. It slowly gets into like a more action based one. Mm-hmm. Um, so it kind of like the best of both worlds there. Um, Castlevania I didn't put that on there for the same reason as I put Avatar on there. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know it gets a lot of crap, but I I really do like Sword Art. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I I could have put that on too. Like I do, I do like sort of online. Like it's it's it, it it's a good time if you don't read, read yeah. between the lines, you know. Yeah, that's right. I, I know it gets a lot of crap, but I, I still like it. Yeah. My main complaint was Did just you... how fast they were going through like the floors. Yeah, they do, they do fly through the levels, but I, I feel like the manga. I haven't actually read the manga, but I feel like I heard the manga does the same thing. Yeah. There's multiple different manga now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's one that I know I was reading that did go through floor by floor, something like that, or not, like, zooming there, and everything. There, there's a slow banga that's coming out where they're where it's not skipping. It's It started over. It's like a reboot mm-hmm. or where they're not skipping at all. Mm-hmm. And right. that uh, they're going to be putting out in movies, uh, actually, as anime movies of that. Probably the first movie is going to be like through the first floor or two, I guess, maybe. Is that? I, I don't know that. the. Fi- sounds pretty cool. I, I don't That's know what I, I mentioned. Okay. I don't know the finer details or not. You didn't watch the current. You didn't watch the last season, did you? you no, did. I've only watched the first season and then the second season. They like in like the fairy world, like they were like all fairies or something. Or oh, am okay. I just speaking yeah, crazy? Yeah, you wait the fairy world. Okay, yeah, yeah. I watched. I watched a good chunk of that. Some of my honorable mentions, uh, Dot Hack Sign, Wing of Twilight, and the GU Roots. Uh, those three Dot Hack series, as I remember enjoying all three of them. Uh, Wii Zero, Starting Life in Another World. That's a good one. Yeah. I was surprised that wasn't on your list. As, uh, as I said, it was really hard um, to choose. I'm trying to think more of ones I've actually seen the anime from. Uh, the original Berserk series is pretty good from the 90s. I haven't seen oh, the yeah. new I need ones, to watch so. it. Uh, let's see, Drifters was pretty good. Drifters? Yeah. What is that? It's made by the guy who did Helsing. It's pretty much uh, yeah. like he or, or people from our world, they die, they get, and they get one of two powerful beings either picks them as a can pick them as a drifter or at the end, and they get thrown into a fantasy world, and it's pretty much a fight between drifters and ends. Oh, uh, okay. Like, I felt like I had heard that title before. I didn't know if I had read a, yeah. read a manga by um, that name or not, but I think I, I don't. It doesn't sound familiar. I recommended the manga to you at a point. Oh, okay. I believe. That's probably where I got it. It's probably on my list then. The manga's ongoing. The anime has one season of it, but you get people like Nobunaga Oda fighting Joan of Arc. Nice. Or and stuff like that. Like two people yeah, who clearly was. could never meet, fight each other or fighting each other. Right. Helsing Ultimate is also one I'd recommend if I was more towards the manga. Right. I haven't watched it myself, but I hear the Dragon Quest Die anime is pretty good. D-A-I. Yeah, I've heard the same. I've, I've, I've been wanting to watch that. I think it is on Crunchyroll as well. Because I've been eyeing it. And I... I know they ha- also have a Dragon Quest movie that's based on the one we talked about in the last episode, Dragon Quest V, and the... All right. They got a movie on that, I think, on Netflix. Yeah, I didn't put any movies on here. Mm-hmm. Um, 
we can save that for another time because there's yeah. a lot of good anime movies. <laughs> yeah. Or Japanese movies, I guess. To... I think that's it for the episode. Uh, remember the wait, follow on whatever platform you're listening to this on. And make sure to hit that bell. If you're watching on, it on man, YouTube. No... Oh, I guess, okay. I'll let it slide. Yeah. Because, oh, wait at five stars if you're watching it on Apple. Well, listening to it on Apple, because I'm going inside getting this on there. And Spotify, I don't think there's any waiting system on that, so follow up there at least. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, friends. Good stuff. Thanks for listening to us. Bye-bye.